Hey everyone, welcome to part 1 of our real time notification system tutorial in PHP. In this series, we are building a cool system to show notifications instantly using PHP, MySQL, and Ratchet WebSocket. Today, we will start by downloading the Ratchet library and setting up our WebSocket server. Here we are doing this on Windows 10, so follow along if you are on the same OS. Let us jump in. So first, we have to download PHP Ratchet WebSocket library. First, we need PHP installed on our Windows 10 machine. Make sure you have PHP added to your system's path so we can run it from the command prompt. Next, we need Composer, and it is a tool to manage PHP libraries. If you do not have Composer yet, go to Get Composer website, and download the Windows installer, and run it. Once Composer is installed, then after, let us check, it is working or not. So open command prompt, in your computer. You should see some text about Composer. In command prompt, we have goes to our working directory path. Then type make directory notification system command for create the folder. Now type change directory notification system to move into that folder. Now it time to get ratchet. In command prompt, type composer require c boden slash ratchet and hit enter. This will downloads the ratchet websocket library and puts it in a vendor folder. So wait for it to finish, it might take a minute, depending on your internet speed. Once it is done, you will see a vendor folder with an autoload.php file inside. That means, Ratchet is ready to use, and it is awesome job. Next we have to setting up the WebSocket server. Now let us set up our WebSocket server by creating a file called server.php. Open your code editor, and here we are using Sublime Code Editor. So create a new file, in our, notification system, folder, and its name is server.php. Let us start typing the code, so you have to follow me, along on the screen. First, we type this extension, which tell the system, this is a PHP file. Now we type, require, vendor slash auto load dot php so it will load the ratchet library which we just downloaded next we need some ratchet classes so first we type use ratchet forward slash http forward slash http server then we type use ratchet forward slash server forward slash io server now we type Use statement with ratchet forward slash websocket forward slash ws server. Next, we type use statement ratchet forward slash message component interface. And after this, we type use statement with ratchet class forward slash connection interface method. These lines bring in the tools which we need from ratchet. Now we type, class statement, with class name notification server, implements message component interface. Here, we have made a class called notification server, that uses the message component interface class. Under this class, we type, protected dollar clients variable. This creates a protected variable, that called dollar clients to store our connections. Next, we type, public function construct magic function. 
This is a constructor function that runs when the class starts. Inside it, we type dollar this with clients variable is equal to new forward slash SPL object storage. This sets up dollar clients variable as a special storage for connections. After this, we type public function with name on open function. This function runs when someone connects to our server. Inside, we type dollar this with clients variable with attach function with dollar connect variable as parameter. This adds the new connection to our dollar clients variable storage. Next, we type echo statement with message like new connection string and append dollar connection variable with resource ID variable. This prints a message that showing the connection's ID. Next we type public function on message function with connection interface with dollar from variable and dollar message variable as argument. This function is for when someone sends a message, but we will leave it empty for now. Next, we type public function on close with connection interface dollar connect variable as argument. This function will runs when someone disconnects. Inside this function, we type dollar this with clients variable with detach method and dollar connect variable as parameter. This removes the connection from our storage. After this, we have type echo statement with this message. This shows a message when someone leave. After this, now we type public function on error. This handles if there is any errors that happen. Inside this, we type echo statement with error message. This prints the error message. Then we type dollar connect variable with close method. This closes the connection if there is any error occur. Now we type dollar server variable is equal to io server class with factory method this starts setting up our server inside this we type new http server method this adds an http layer to our server then we type new ws server method this makes it a WebSocket server. Next, we type new notification server method. This uses our notification server class. And at 8080, after a comma to set the port. Now we type echo statement with message like. WebSocket server started on port 8080. This shows a message when the server starts. Finally, we type dollar server variable with run method. This runs the server so it can listen for connections. Now save the file and our server.php is all set. Now we want to running the server. So we have goes to back in command prompt and type php server.php and hit enter. You will see message like WebSocket server started on port 8080, that means it is working. If you get an error, check your PHP path or if port 8080 is already in use. That is it for part 1. 
we have downloaded Ratchet and set up our WebSocket server. If you liked this, hit that like button and subscribe for the next part.